Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you some tactical analysis over on the Bitcoin chart. After last week's brutal sell-off, it does appear that the Bitcoin crash will continue into this week. And the question I'm getting a lot is how low will it go? And in order to come up with any type of answer, we have to look at the charts. But before we jump into the Bitcoin charts, I do want to pull up the S&P 500 chart. And today there was a gap down and a pretty big sell off is starting to develop on the S&P 500. And most notably, it is below its 50 day moving average for the first time since looking all the way back here to February and March of 2020, which was the start of the pandemic. Ever since then, it has been going pretty much parabolic. However, we're starting to see a similar development over here on the S&P 500 weekly chart as we saw back in 2020 with these gap downs and continued sell off week after week. We are now starting to see that for the fourth week in a row, we may be looking at another red candle for the S&P 500. But it is extremely early as it is only Monday, so we have the rest of the week to see how this plays out. And if we jump over here to some news, you can see that the earnings are not meeting expectations. There appears to be some issues with Omicron in the economy, and then we have the issue with Russia and Ukraine. And so there is actually quite a bit behind this push down. However, to me, after a big run up like this, you need some sort of pullback before you can continue towards the upside. This type of move up cannot continue forever. So that's enough jaw jacking about the S&P 500. Let's get into the Bitcoin chart. And we'll start over here on the one week chart for Bitcoin. And in reality, if you were caught off guard by this big sell off, you apparently haven't been watching my videos the last couple weeks, especially once this candle closed below the EMA ribbons. I told you all this was a very bearish signal and you needed to prepare for the bears taking control of the price action for Bitcoin. Now, if you haven't been watching my videos, now would probably be a good time to shoot that subscribe button so you can start watching my videos and perhaps you can avoid getting ambushed by this type of price action. So with that all being said, last week's candle did once again close below these EMA ribbons and actually it rejected pretty hard away from those ribbons. And this week's candle is continuing to sell off for the most part and in reality today is the first day of the candle so we may see a reversal or we could see a deeper sell off. The level I'm really watching right now is this white line you see coming up is the 100 day moving average for Bitcoin on the weekly chart. And I would look for that to be support and that's gonna come in around 31,500. Also another level of support is going to be at the bottom of this sell off in the summer of 2021. And that puts us somewhere around 30,000 to 28.8. So anywhere between this 31.5 to call it 28.8 that is going to be a zone that I would want to see buyers really come in with some volume and step up and start buying Bitcoin but if the buyers fail to show up then the sellers can continue the pressure and sell off and this price could go below 28,000 and then we might be headed back down to 20,000 which would be previous resistance back here and also if we zoom out to the end of the previous bull market we can see that that 20,000 level was pretty much the end to the previous bull market so how low could bitcoin's price go in the immediate future well in theory we're looking at 32,000 to say 28,000 after that we're looking down at 20,000 and worst case scenario currently i would be looking back here at probably around 12,000 so i know those are some pretty low numbers but you do need to be prepared for such situations if we see a break of 28.8 then we need to look down at where we're going. And with this type of price action, we are bearish currently. Now, if the bulls want to step up and take control and try to push back up, 
they're going to have a whole lot of resistance at 40,000. Obviously, up here in the ribbons is going to be a level of resistance from, say, 44,000 all the way up to probably around 50,000. And until the bulls can get a close above these ribbons, the bears will have the opportunity to continue to drag this price down. Now, if we zoom into the one day chart on Bitcoin, just a couple videos ago, I had mentioned that we were headed towards the death cross. And if that happened, look for more pain and sell off in the market. Well, we got that death cross. I updated you all in a video that that had happened and Bitcoin did continue to sell off and is still continuing to sell off. And the last time we saw that death cross, once again, if we look back and check our six, you can see back here in the summer of 2020, where we entered kind of a mini bear market we got that cross and then the market pretty much sold off and moved sideways before recovering back into a bull market. So when the Bitcoin chart confirmed this death cross, I had mentioned we could more than likely be in for another month or several weeks at a minimum of selling off and moving sideways before we get a reversal. And that is exactly what is going on right now. And if you take a look at the support and resistance levels, the green and red bars running through the chart, originally this red bar here around 39.6 to say 39,000 that was a level of previous support and this was actually a green bar until we crushed down through it and in one of my previous videos I had said if we break the 39.6 level that would be an opportunity to get short and it definitely paid off to get short on the break of 39.6. Now a support zone is starting to set up down here around 33,000 to perhaps 31,000. I would again say somewhere between that 33,000 to all the way down to 28. Eight. That would be the zone I would be keeping an eye on for support somewhere down in this area. I think in reality, stronger support is going to be around 30,000 to 28.8. I think that's actually going to be a stronger level of support. But right now, the buyers are stepping up and trying to keep this price above the 33,000 level. Now, with that in mind, we have to look back at this resistance and there's a good possibility that the price does come back up into this 40,000 zone and gets rejected once again, only to head lower. And so the bulls really have to target this resistance zone up around 40,000 and in reality, get back above it. From there, again, we're looking at a big zone of resistance, pretty much from 50,000 to say 53,000. And then again up here at around 59,000 to say 61,000. Those are zones the bulls need to target if they hope to reverse this and continue a bull run of any type. However, right now the bears are in complete control of this battlefield and the bulls are at risk of losing this lower support area. And if that happens, Bitcoin's price could be headed back down to 20,000. And I think that pretty much wraps it up. We have a few levels to keep an eye on this week. And so if any of those break, I will do an update video. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. And with that all being said, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.